In this video, you'll learn how to take the sunflowers mold from IOD and IOD clay and three plastic pumpkins and create some sunflower pumpkins. This kit can be purchased from GoodsAndVintageTreasures.com or make your own. First step is to take your air dry clay and make it kind of in a pancake shape. It takes a pretty big piece to make this big sunflower. Sprinkle some cornstarch on your sunflower mold and brush it off with a brush. Then press your clay into your mold. I like to use the heel of my hand. Once you get it pressed in good, then you'll need to take a putty knife, a credit card, a scrape of some sort, or even a popsicle stick and take off the excess. I like to start by taking the excess off my fingers. The IOD molds have a micro rim, which makes it a lot easier to get a nice sharp edge. This is just a little thin putty knife that I use to help smooth out the surface. I keep my IOD clay in a zip bag with a wet paper towel or a baby wipe to keep it moist. Don't keep the wet paper towel or baby wipe up against the clay, keep it against the plastic. But that moisture in the bag keeps it from drying out because it is air dry clay. have the clay pressed into the mold and the edge is good and clean, turn your mold over and since you put cornstarch in it, it should come out very easily. Then you want to turn it over and put your glue, I use Type 1 Quick and Thick or Aline's glue in a golden bottle. Either one's fine. Spread it out all the way to the edge. I like to use a popsicle stick or a brush to do this. Then you want to place it on your pumpkin. I like to put one of them up kind of high. You want to gently press the edges down, but you don't want to disrupt the beautiful pattern. So don't press too hard. And make sure it kind of fits to the pumpkin well. Then you want to use a piece of paper tape, you can use masking tape, I like to use painted painter's tape to hold the pumpkin on until that, until that glue sets up a little bit. And it won't take it long, but you don't want your sunflower sliding off of your pumpkin. Once you have that done, it's time to make another sunflower. And I like to make another large one because this will balance the pumpkin. These little plastic pumpkins are lightweight, so you want to kind of put another size sunflower on the opposite side to balance it. And it's the same process. Press the clay out, and once you have it out, always make sure you put your cornstarch in the mold every time. I put mine in a little shaker, and then I put the other sunflower kind of up high too. Press it down, and then tape it. And go back and check to make sure it's pressed down good after you've, after you've let it set for a few minutes. Let's use a bud, the sideways flower, and some leaves and stems. So you want to make sure that you use your cornstarch again and brush it into your molds. Just a light brushing. Here I'm making a, one of the sideways flowers. Same process. Press it down, clean the edges. You can use your fingers or a putty knife. Keep the pieces in a bag. Here I'm using the putty knife to get a nice sharp edge. This is speeded up. Okay, then you want to turn it over. Same process. It'll come out easily if you use the cornstarch. You can also use baby powder if you don't have cornstarch. Okay, and then I'm just going to put my glue on. And we're going to place this one on the side of the pumpkin. Again, I'm going to use the blue tape to hold it for just a little while until it sets up. 
Next, we're going to make some stems. I like to curl my stem around a bit. The little stems are about three inches long and you can join them together. Same process. And I also used a little one of the little sunflower buds and I joined the two stems. And then I'm gonna put a leaf. There's a sideways, a little sideways leaf and there's a big leaf. You can choose what leaf you want, of course. I like to use the big one. Now you can paint this as soon as you finish making it, but I like to let mine dry overnight. So the next day, next day, I'm going to paint this pumpkin orange. Your orange color is called Summer Crush. And even though this is a green looking speckly pumpkin, yours might be a, a lighter color of orange. I go ahead and paint it because I like the painted look. And DIY paint is full of pigment so it will cover this speckly pumpkin easily. Now I'm not too particular about getting paint on my my leaves and my flowers because you're going to go back and paint those. So first you just want to get that pumpkin painted. Once your pumpkin is painted then you want to use your liquid sunshine which is the yellow to paint your sunflower. Now here you want to try not to get too much into the orange because you're going to have to go back and touch up if you do. And I like to paint the whole sunflower orange with the yellow. You can leave the center out, but it won't hurt to paint the center too. And you should have enough paint to paint all your sunflowers. If you purchased a kit. The kit is available at goodsandvintagetreasures.com and includes the pumpkins, the paints, two brushes, popsicle stick, the clay, the mold, and a zip bag. So once you paint, and notice I'm not being real careful because if you leave a white spot, our next step will cover that up. See, I got a little, little yellow on the orange. I'll just wipe that off. So once you have one of the sunflowers painted, you want to paint the center next. And the center I'm just going to paint with my layered chocolate, which is a brown. And then I'm going to add to that some of the queen bee and the summer crush. Because the inside of a sunflower is multicolored. And you can do this however you want. This is the way I like to do it. Next, you'll want to take your Salty Kiss, which is your green, and paint your stems and leaves. And you might want to add a little bit of streaks of brown and yellow in this. That's totally up to you to give it a little more depth. And for touch-ups, I did go back and paint a little more orange in those spots. It looks kind of spotty there. The next step is to paint the whole piece with your Big Top. Big Top is the DIY paint sealer. This is because we're going to do a wash of layered chocolate and you do not want to just color the whole thing brown. This will keep it from coloring the whole pumpkin brown. As soon as the big top is dry, take layered chocolate, half water, half paint, and paint your whole pumpkin with the layered chocolate that's been watered down. Once you have the whole piece covered, you're not waiting till this dries. You want to immediately take a baby wipe or a damp paper towel. And you want to start wiping this brown layered chocolate wash back. And look how beautiful it looks. Just don't want to rub too hard because you'll rub the paint off the pumpkin. So you just want to rub it back till you get the desired look. You might want to use a damp paper towel or a baby wipe or you might want to just use a dry paper towel to pat it with too. In the end you'll see I'll use a dry paper towel to pat it. Now for the smaller pumpkins. 
For the middle size pumpkin, I removed the stem. You just pull it out. And then I'm going to make one large sunflower to go right on top of it. And that's why I removed the stem. So I want to powder it with the cornstarch. Always use the cornstarch before you use the clay in the molds. It makes them come out so much easier. So you just want to dust that around, shake it off. I actually have a trash can right there I'm shaking it into. Then you want to put your clay in it and press it out like we have before. Then just take your stem and push it back into where it goes in the middle. Pull it back out, put a little glue in the hole, and push the stem back in to glue it in. And let that pumpkin dry and it's ready to paint. On the small pumpkin, I just put leaves and stems. Make sure you balance your pumpkin by putting the big leaf on each opposite sides. Because little tiny pumpkins are a little hard to balance. I won't go into all the painting steps again because they're just like the steps before for the big pumpkin. But you'll want to paint your pumpkin orange first with your Summer Crush. You may have to paint it two times. Once you have the pumpkin painted, then paint your small pumpkin. And you'll want to paint the sunflower yellow, brown in the center, with some dots of different colors around it and then some accent color of a queen bee on your sunflower just like we did for the others. When the paint dries you want to cover it with your coat of Big Top. When Big Top dries you want to put your watered down layered chocolate all over the pumpkin and wipe it back with a baby wipe. And there you have your gorgeous sunflower pumpkins. Kits may be purchased at GoodsonVintageTreasures.com don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified when I drop a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you make some sunflower pumpkins.